What is a secondary containment system? Well, a secondary containment system is the, the fail-safe that you put in if, if your primary containment system fails. The primary containment in this case would be the tanks that contain the digestate or the feedstock, the, the product materials and the feedstock materials that you need for the business. And normally these would not fail, but in the case that there is a leak, your secondary containment is, requ is required to prevent the pollution spreading into the environment. What are the most common forms? Well, secondary containment has to be an impermeable base under the plant, under the tanks, which will, pre which will prevent the uh, contaminants from seeping into the environment. So this needs to be an impermeable base and also raised sides that provide a storage volume. So if a tank fails, then the, the, the liquid cannot get out of the area. Um, and this can be formed by a membrane under the site, it can be formed by asphalt or concrete, and it can also be formed by a combination of natural clay soils and engineered methods such as a membrane or concrete. It's, um, it really depends on the site as to what is the most appropriate approach. What is the difference between new projects and the existing sites? Well, with a new project you have the option to consider secondary containment from the outset. So you can select the site which has the most appropriate geography and geology and uh, environmental conditions. And you can also design the layout of the pipes and the tanks and the access roads to suit the measure that you need to put in to ensure secondary containment. If you have an existing site, you will already have buried pipes, buried electrical services, tanks, roadways, and these will have to be accommodated with whatever method you have. So getting an impermeable seal against all these various engineering items can be very difficult. So it's much more of a challenge to get secondary containment in an existing site. And what about design and validation? Well, a secondary containment system you hope will never be used. So whereas a primary system, a, a, a tank, is you can see that it's working because the, leache, the, the uh, feedstock is not escaping and it doesn't need a regulator to tell you to do that because that's your, that's your income. But a secondary containment, you need it only if your tank fails or if a pipe bursts. So you can't tell if secondary containment is working until you rely on it. So the, the point is to prove to the regulator that you've installed a system that should work. And Typically this means having the construction validated, the quality assurance of the construction validated in advance so the regulator can see that it's been verified by an engineer that the, yes, this system will work and it has been constructed to the right quality. Is the UK regulations appropriate for the AD industry? Well, this is interesting at the moment. The, the UK has very strong regulations for containment in many fields, particularly in the waste management field. Um, the standard rules for environmental permits for AD sites now do include secondary containment, the requirements for secondary containment, and if it's a complicated permit for a large site or a site that takes municipal waste, that will have to be designed specifically with the, with, for that site. And in those cases, the Environment Agency will expect to see secondary containment in the design. Um, in parallel with this, the AD industry is developing its own code of practice which will help members of the industry to best address these. So yes, the, the, the regulatory system is coming together to cover the industry.